श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम If there is a problem, it can be solved, and if there is no problem, how can you solve it? It is something like there was a child somewhere in U.S. Now he is a grown-up boy. He was hardly maybe four or five years. and he had that notion when i went to his house crying very badly and everybody was trying to tell him but he will not listen now i am going to die i am going to die i said what happened tell me then he showed one toy and he said see that one eye of this toy i was playing that i has gone in my stomach now i am going to die i cannot live I said, "Not like that. It will come out. How it will come out?" I said, "Then you have to listen to me. So you have to take this banana. When you eat the banana, that eye will get embedded in the banana. And morning when you go to toilet, it will come out. Really?" I said, "Yes. You try this." He did it. Next day, we made everything. Kept another banana, a little bit, and another eye of the same doll. Kept it there, and he went. And I said, "Now you take your stick and see." So, I mean, you are great. I said, "Yes, fools can be replied in a foolish way." That is what Vedanta does. See, we try to solve those problems which do not exist. Therefore, here this is the main theme: bandhat kam astichin moksha. बंधा भावे को मोक्षता इफ देर इज बॉन्डेज देन देर इज ए पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ लिबरेशन दे से हाउ द पैरट्स आर कॉट पैरट इज ए बर्ड हाउ इट इज कॉट वॉट दे डू दे इन ऑन द ट्री समेयर दे फिक्सिंग ए स्ट्रेट रॉड काइंड ऑफ थिंग एंड ऑन दैट दे विल पुट लाइक ए स्लीव वन ट्यूब and near they will be hanging some fruit or something so the bird comes and sits there to eat that fruit but because it is a tube loose immediately it takes a turn and and a bird is hanging down now that bird thinks if i give up the hold i'll fall down and therefore he never gives up the hold and then the hunters come and comfortably take it who is holding whom see friends therefore bandhatva masti chen moksha it is all only imagination that i am unfortunate i am bound see i have seen those people who go to uh, the so called religious thing they are more miserable than average people see therefore bandhatva masti chen moksha bandha bhave ko mokshata when there is no bondage how there can be liberation we are only getting lost in this nonsense we are bondage we have to get liberated then maranam yadi chen janma janma bhave ek mrutir na cha and then we talk about death 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 then the question comes if you are born then you are dying if you are not born how can you die about this you take this particular principle which i told you number of times after divorce that girl becomes widow or not or that boy becomes whatever he is called widowed or maybe happy <laughs> See, when there is a headache the three types of headaches if it is a migraine you get headache in the front half if there is um 
headache because of some physical elements, then the headache is in the back, complete becomes red. But when you are married, the whole thing is red. <laughs> Pain everywhere. See, friends. So, nothing has happened. When divorce happens, what has happened? Nothing has happened. No, though, go the other way. When marriage happens, what happens? Nothing. Don't get carried away by the news. 370 is lifted from Kashmir, not from your house. Don't get carried away by this news. They're still there. 370. Therefore, I cannot go to some of my friend. He is miserable because of his wife. So I can't help him. Hey, never mind. I will divorce on your behalf. No. Therefore, first principle we have to remember. We are caught up in our own imaginary uh, problems. So, maranam yadi che janma janma bhave mrutirnacha so neither there is a birth nor there is a death. This one principle I told you. When we hear the news of death of anybody, if that leads to an imagination of our own death, then so far what we have done is nothing, useless. Even a passing thought of death should not come in our mind. Satya. Tvam iti api bhave chaham, tvam no ched aham na eva. When you are there, then I am there. See, there are three persons. First person, second person, third person. If the first person is not there, there cannot be second person, third person. If second person, third person are not there, there cannot be first person. They are all mutually dependent. Therefore, idam yasti tavedasti tadavavad idam nacha. If this is there, then that is there. If this is not there, that is not there. Therefore, all these things, asti iti chenasti tada nasti chedasti kinchana, everything. If we do not have the experience of our absence, what is the need to say that I am present? When absence, death is not possible, where is the question of fear of death? Therefore, karyam chet karanam, something is an effect if there is a cause. If there is no cause, there is no effect, be attentive. Where is the cause and effect? It is in our own thinking. How it starts? Because we can't keep our mouth shut. Anything. Why this is so, it is like that only. Just recognize this principle. When we do not ask cause and effect, we are the wisest one. We have never asked why the fire is hot. We accepted it. And thereafter we decide how to interact with the fire. Exactly the same way. Don't ask this question, but why my wife is so terrible? No, you accept. The wives are always like that. Then thereafter you decide how to interact. And the technique I told you, when she talks, you should keep quiet. When she is quiet, you should not talk. There will be peace always. This experience of yours is called as abiding in truth. All the problems are only in the wrong thinking. Therefore, cause-effect is illusion. There is no cause, there is no effect. You know why this happens? Because we have mistaken that the children are born to us. But if you think properly, you will see problems will dissolve. How? What is the proper thinking? We do not have any choice about our parents. We have to accept the parents as they are. We can't think. I wish my mom was Merlin Mandro. How nice is Merlin Mandro? No. 
we don't accept the jaise waise what can you do apply the same principle we have no choice about our children you can construct a house but what type of tenant you will get you have no control over it you can reject the tenant that no i want only vegetarian non veg not allowed in my is okay but about your child what can you do see friends if you accept this way that as we have no choice about our parents equally so we have no choice about our children then children are born through us they are not born to us all problems regarding this children etc will be dissolved dvaitam yadi tada advaitam dvaita bhave advayam na cha we all the time talk about advaita 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 is valid only because we are taking dvaita as a reality where is the dvaita see see how it is my right hand is other than the left hand dwandu and i identified with the right hand go and scratch the left hand so here right hand is a scratcher and left hand is scratcher karta karma dvaita is it there when it is possible when i have recognized that in and through all the differences i am the same exactly the same way life wise we are all common but when the life starts expressing as mind mind wise we are common therefore all of us have got the same thing kama krodha lobha moha madha matsarya confusion anger frustration same thing nothing new fear sense of insecurity common to everyone up to here there is no problem everybody but real problems begin when the common mind gets identified with a particular body it becomes a individual mind and individual mind becomes a vyakti and individuality and from then onward the whole samsara begins therefore what should be the spiritual practice only one thing get rid of body identification and to get rid of body identification it means anything pertaining to this gross world is not an issue for us this world comes into existence only after body identification therefore dvaitam yadi tada advaitam in the deep sleep once i was in calcutta and morning time maybe 3 o'clock or so we went to see the durga puja at night and by the time we were going back it became very late morning 3 o'clock or so so many people were sleeping on the footpath so there were a few people with me youngsters i said hey have you seen this yes now tell me what is your thought when you look at it so one said poor people they don't have place to sleep i said enough don't give lecture next one you tell him so he said you know Uh, they may be tired they had no time to go home therefore they are sleeping everybody gave their views i said very good no 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 you tell also i said my vision is totally different now the woman is not a woman man is not a man that dog is not a dog the goat is not a goat all differences disappear in deep sleep our body identification is zero and because of that when we are out of a real good deep sleep we are so fresh like our mobile we have fixed it with the total energy source individual mind has connected itself with the total mind 
and mind has got infinite potentiality and strength. Therefore, here, <clears throat> dvaitam iri tada dvaitam, dvaita bhave advayam nacha. The moment you transcend the mind, all the dvaita, dvaita, both of them end. Drusham yadi durgavsti, drusha bhave durgeva nacha. See, try this second experiment. Sit in your room, which is absolutely dark, no speck of light. And keep your eyes open. What will be your, that experience? Because your eyes are open, they are seeing. But because there is nothing to see, it's only darkness. Therefore, there is nothing to see, so no seen. Because there is nothing to see, there is nothing to see to be seen. Therefore, without the seen, there cannot be a sinner. Then what is the experience? Seeing without the seer and the seen is the ultimate truth. Experience without the duality of experienced and experiencer is the truth. Joy without the enjoyer and they enjoyed. The duality dissolves. See, drusham yadi durgapyasti. If there is something to be seen, then there is a seer. If there is nothing to see, where is the seer? So, where is the duality? Therefore, drusha bhave durge nacha, antar yadi bahir satyam, anta bhave bahir nacha. Again, these are all things where we are all caught up. What is our present experience? I am inside, you are outside. Your experience, you are inside, I am outside. Now, just work on this. Where are you seeing me? Inside you or outside you? Where this knowledge is happening? If you are seeing me inside you, you won't burst into pieces. But if I see all of you inside me, I'll be in pieces. So where this knowledge is happening? Think. And when this inside-outside illusion disappears, the world disappears. And what is that which is making inside-outside? Only a reference point. A reference point is body identification. See, these are very simple things, friends, and not difficult. We get lost unnecessarily. Therefore, when many people are told when they do meditation, now you are sitting, now see inside, you are seeing Bhagavan Sri Krishna and then you will see the light inside. So you are all the time inside, inside. Outside kya hai? As much the space is outside, so much the space is in the Kopri also. Without space, there is no inside outside. Therefore, antar yadi bahir satyam, anta bhave bahir nacha, purnatvam asti chet kinchit, e purnamadaha purnamidam, e the truth is infinite, absolute, there is no question of relative or finite. These are all simple mathematical rules. Infinite cannot be improved, it cannot be reduced, nothing can be added, nothing can be taken out. Is it not our experience? Childhood has come and gone. What happened to us? Teenage has come and gone. What happened to us? Middle age has come and gone. We are the same. Old age will also go. So we are now expert in dying. First we died as a child. Then we died as a teenager. Then we died as a middle age. 
सो इफ वी आर एक्सपर्ट इन डेथ वाई शुड बी अफ्रेड चलो एक और See friends, never, never we had an experience that I was finite. No. Now tell me, it is what you have to do. What we have to do to experience that when the childhood has gone, we are the same. What we have to do? Nothing. Did the teenage has gone? What is our contribution? It is something like imagine in a space, dark, thundering clouds come, add rain, and go away. Then the white thundering clouds come, but no rains; they also go away. Then the darkness without the clouds. comes and goes away will this ever touch the space is it not our experience the raining clouds are the waking experience the noisy clouds are the dream experience absolute darkness is the deep sleep experience how many times they have come and gone they have come and gone they have come and gone the thing happen see my friends therefore tasman etat pajinnasti tvam cha aham va ime idam nasti drishtantikam sat e nasti darshantikam yaje therefore there is neither in you nor i nor this nor that and there is nothing which can be told the truth is like this there is no simile now these subtle points are brought out in our scriptures through stories you know one of the biggest problems for most of the students or seekers is they are unable to draw the moral of the story why a particular story is told what is the purpose is it entertainment what for see like one story i tell you in ramayan at the beginning in ram charit maras tulsidas ji has brought this story from some purana there was manu the king and his wife shatrupa so don't ask authority uh, when was rama's birth and what is the certificate show don't ask that manu and shatrupa then as usual they had no children so they were happy but those who don't have children they are miserable those who have children they are super miserable cause is the same what poor god will do see so they are miserable so when you are miserable what you, you hold on to god oh god oh god and they did tapasya for 10000 years and then narayana came yes why you are disturbing me what do you want we want a son like you bhagwan said i am extremely sorry why there is none like me who can say this infinite cannot be compared with anything infinite is one without a second So when the um, Lord says there is none like me, then I will be born to you. Therefore, God descends, and we have to ascend. See, descended God is you and me. Ascending God is Mahatmas. But we get lost so much in this, and forget totally. Therefore. नास्ति दृष्टांतिकम सत्ते नास्ति दृष्टांतिकम यजे इन दिस अनबोर्न एब्सोल्यूट रियलिटी इट इज नॉट लाइक दिस और लाइक दैट देयरफॉर द ओनली लैंग्वेज इन व्हिच वी कैन एक्सप्रेस द ट्रुथ कंप्लीटली इज द लैंग्वेज ऑफ एलोक्वेंट साइलेंस दैट 
This is that. Etadvaita. You are experiencing, but you cannot talk about it. You cannot explain to others. Forget about this. You eat, let us take um, some rasgulla. You are a, how it is? It is so, is this the way to explain? See? Even our day-to-day -day experiences cannot be fully conveyed. One child writes me always and at the end, Tamiji, I love you. So I L O O O O O V E. This is struggle. Therefore, nasti dashtan drishtan tikam satte nasti dashtan tikam yaje. Param Brahma Hamasmiti Svaranasya Manonahi Brahma Matram Jagadidam Brahma Matram Topi Tom Abhi Aham Abhi Attentive. Don't remember God. Do you know yourself or you remember yourself? I remember myself. See? Memory is always about something other than you. You know, yes, the first day I played that bhajan. By chanting the Lord's name and you remember the Lord's name, you transcend this relative world. It is okay for bhajan kirtan, tamla pet is very good. But the truth is this. You know, it is like what? You can see everything by your eyes. You cannot see your own eyes by your own eyes. You can see, you can comment. You can understand, you can evaluate, you can remember, you can forget about everything but for yourself. Therefore, why this is so? The reason is Mano Nahi, there is no mind. Without the mind, there cannot be the memory. Therefore, Param Brahma Smiti Smaranasya Mano Nahi. So, in being, there is no struggle. The struggle begins the moment we become somebody. Therefore, Brahma Matram Jagat Idam Brahma Matratvam Api Aham. Therefore, everything is Paramatma alone. Now, see, we are taking a turn. Up to here, what we have done, everything is an illusion. Birth is illusion, death is illusion. You are illusion, I is illusion. Everything rejected. Then nothing remains. No, 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 no. That nothing is called as Paramatma. And these two ways. When we look at the world as illusion, you will be free from the desire for the illusions. And yet you will enjoy this basic principle we should understand. When it is told, Brahma Satyam Jagan Mithya, one person asked me this question in Pune. Puneri people are special. I don't know if I told you, I like this small little thing. One boy, he asked on a railway station uh, to one person on the platform, uh, Kaka, um, which is this station? And the Kaka replied, yellow and black board. Dikta nahi kya? Ande ho? So the boy told his mother, Mummy, Pune has come. Puneri people are unique. They will never talk straight. It is manufacturer's effect. All are like that. I hope nobody is here. <laughs> I don't say this thing when I am in Pune. They are, oh Pune, the most wonderful, you know. It is uh, a capital of the culture. Agriculture. So Param Brahma Smithi. So the second is, if everything I am, I cannot desire myself. 
what is the net result? Net result is this. When you take the world as illusion, you are free from desires. When you take the world as yourself, you are free from desire. Freedom from desire is God realization. So this man who asked me today, if you say the world is illusion, how will you serve or help others if it is illusion? I say you should never help anybody. Let help come out of you. Naturally. Like the flower never gives the fragrance. It comes out of you. Therefore, Brahma Matram Jagadidam, Brahma Matram Tom Api Aham. Everything is Paramatma alone. Like the tongue I am, the eyes I am, the head I am, the t- uh, legs I am, everything I am. See? And therefore, there is no competition. Once I was taking food and the eyes were complaining. See, this tongue is very lucky. She gets everything to taste. I had to only look at it. I said, don't cry, your eyes. I took chutney. I love it. See, friends, there is no mutual competition. On the contrary, there is support for each other. Therefore, Chinmatram Kevalam Chaham Nasti Anatme Tinishchinu. So, from here we are changing the track. So, what was the question? What is Anatma Atma Vivek? The first it was told. Whatever you are experiencing as something other than you, this experience of other than you is an illusion. Now the second step. Other than you, there is nothing. Therefore, whatever you are seeing, it is you only. Like in the dream. See? The dreamer is the mind. The dreamt is the mind. The joy is the mind. The friend is the mind. The enemy is the mind. The movement is the mind. The stationery is the mind. Everything is there. To understand this, take the example of mirror. That is my very favorite experience. <coughs> I spent quite some time in front of the mirror. It's not only girls spent. I also spent. But my time spending was a spiritual practice. And yours was a fashion practice. This angle, that angle. There was one mother, she (coughs) called her son. Mita, you come home quickly. Mama, what happened? See, your wife is twisting her face. (coughs) She is twisting her face and falling down in different angles and I don't know what happened. Mommy, don't worry. She is taking the selfies. Mirror. So when you are sitting in front of mirror, just start working on it. When you are moving the hand, the movement of the hand outside the mirror as well as inside the mirror have no impact on the mirror. (coughs) Then you take out your BD and matchbox and lit. So the fire which is outside the mirror and the reflection of the fire which is inside the mirror, both of them do not touch the mirror. This is one standpoint. The world is an illusion. The substratum is not touched by the um, superimposed. See, like our friend snake and the rope. We have not talked about them for quite some time. So, the snake is not able to influence the rope. <coughs> now, what is the snake? Where it is? Is it on the rope? No. Is it in your eyes? No. Where it is? It is nowhere. So what is the mithya or illusion? That which doesn't exist and yet it appears is called as an illusion. Therefore, this world is appearing 
and illusion appears under n number of conditions. You cannot tell somebody, hey, I was coming, it was getting late, maybe almost 8 o'clock at night, and on the way I saw very deep mirage waters. Who are you bluffing? Mirage waters can appear under a particular condition, not all the time. Exactly the same way, this waking experience world comes into existence under a particular condition. That condition is body identification. Now be attentive. When the dream is over and in the dream you had won a million dollar lottery and when you are out of the dream, will you feel bad? I couldn't get that money. It was so lovely. Million dollar I got. I go, no. Okay. Second thing. Will you inquire? Never mind. But where that money has gone? See. It is something like snake and a rope. Somebody came. He thought it is a snake. Then we say, no, it can't be a snake. If it's bitten you, then it will die. Let's go and check it. <laughs> So we go with a torch and a stick, be attentive. We go with a torch and a stick to kill the snake, not to see the rope. What is the net result? Net result is we see the rope. Because proper means of knowledge, proper approach. After we have seen that as a rope, Will we continue our inquiry? Ye to theek hai, lekin rope kaha, wo snake kaha gaya? See friends, so when we thus take this world as an illusion, you will never, never be influenced by anything in this world. But at the same time, when we see the illusions, we don't suffer, but we enjoy. You go to Dubai, many people go, or they go to Thailand. For what? Seeing the illusions. And they don't suffer there, unless their pocket is picked. Therefore, this is one statement. Look at the world as illusion, no problem. Look at the world as yourself, no problem. Now the second stage is take, take a near Chinmatram kevalam chaham nasti anatma iti nishchinu. I am the seer and hand is the seen. So is the hand anatma? No. Meaning what? That experience where the sense of otherness appears but it is not taken as real. That is the meaning. Therefore, chinmatram kevalam chaham na anatma iti nishchinu idam prapamcham nasteva notpannam no stitam kvachit. And therefore, this world has never appeared, never existed, nor it will continue to exist, nor it will dissolve anywhere. These two standpoints are the foundation of your contemplative approach to life. And once we are aware of this thing, then we go through all good and bad experiences. We are also like a common person, talk about this, oh, there is too much of traffic these days, I don't know. Where from, they say the cars are not sold in the market, where people will buy and keep the car, there is no place. Therefore, they are not buying. You go on talking and discussing, but that doesn't mean it has got any value for you. This is the secret of my happiness. Many people ask this question, Swami, what is that secret? What keeps you going so happily? I said, I am very clear that because of my talking, people will improve. It is not going to happen. Because professional satsangi, so many Mahatmas have come and gone. Now you try. This I learned 
earlier I used to call my lectures as bluff sessions. I am bluffing, I am bluffing. And I used to justify. Because the truth is beyond the speech, so whatever you talk about it, it is a bluff. So it cannot be the truth. There I am bluffing. One day I got the wisdom from you. Who told you we are listening? <laughs> so as much I am a cheat, equally you are teaching me. I won't call you a cheat. <laughs> Life becomes light. Otherwise, I have spent so much of time. Oh, who told you, yaar? And remember basic principle. Nobody wants you in this world. It is our need. Whatever we are doing in this world. See, the food is in a plate. Food doesn't want. We should eat. Even a dog comes and it makes no difference to the food. But what an arrogance. I am doing this, I am doing that. And therefore, this samsara becomes real and problematic for us. Chittam prapancha mityahu nasti nasti eva sarvada. Now see, what is the world? World is nothing but the mind. And what is mind? Mind is not. So understand this from the present example. Be very attentive. Electricity has no light. Electricity expresses through the bulb as light. If there is a light, then only things are seen. If there is no light, things are not seen. So where are the things? They are in the light. And what is the light? Light is not. When you switch on the bulb and suppose the weight of the bulb is 50 grams, if you switch off, does it become 48 grams? Where is the light? Exactly the same way. When the mind is identified with the body and the world appears. When the mind is not identified with the body, meaning what? Individual mind has disappeared, where is the world? But we are still there. Therefore, the whole samsara is only in the mind. Chittam prapancha mityahu nasti nasti eva sarvada. And his mind is not. See, friends, this is the basic difference in Vedanta Shastra and all other philosophies. In all other philosophies, they take that soul, the jiva, is real. They never define what is the jiva. I won't name you. Who is this gentleman or Mahatma? Very great Mahatma, hundreds and hundreds of followers. And sometime I was in Lunaula for my lectures. He happened to come, we sat together, we had tea, coffee. So he said, Yes, what are you talking? I said, I am talking here that there is nothing like soul. We make a soul curry and drink it. He said, How can you say there is no jiva? I said, I don't know. You please explain me what is a jiva. He spoke about last life, this life, next life, pa, punya, dharma, dharma. But who? For whom it is? They will never explain jiva. And when you inquire, who is the jiva? Then you come to know, there is nothing like jiva in this world. To understand the jiva, I give you your personal experience. And then you understand what happened to the jiva after death. Man is Paramatma. Husband is Jivatma. Out of the man, a husband is born. Can you separate the man and the husband? So what is the date of birth of the husband? Date of birth of the husband is the day of marriage. Then, after some time, divorce. Then who died? The husband died. Man is still there. Then he got married second time. 
is it the first husband got married to the second time or the man got married second time then there also he divorce the second jiva died then again he got married third time is it the second husband remarried third time or the man got married third time so what happened this jiva has taken birth many birth first birth first wife second birth second wife to who are you cheating now why this is told in our scriptures if this is so only for one purpose we are all expert in blaming others for all the problems of our life unless we become squarely responsible for our life we have not started our spiritual journey at all and for that purpose our logic cause and effect which is a catch that is taken you are suffering in this life because in the last life you are done so and so see i was in delhi and on the dividers they have some plants so when i was going the amma was driving me she said swami ji whenever i see these plants on the dividers i feel so bad for them all the emissions of the cars go right on their face they become so dark black i feel so hurt why they are here i said they are on the ex ministers of government of india they are done a lot of mischief when they were there if they died again came back to delhi because they are born and died you know and they are oh i think you are right what the right bluff oh bluff the purpose we are not able to understand what is the import import is we have to walk our spiritual path nobody can do it for us see friends and what is walking spiritual path proper understanding wrong notions are eradicated without creating new notions see it is not the thought replacement therefore chittam prapancha mithyahu nasti nasti eva sarvada mind alone is the samsar and the mind is not so very the samsar न प्रपंच न चित्तादि न अहंकार न जीवक नाइदर प्रपंच नॉर द माइंड न अहंकार एंड नो जीव ओनली परमात्मा अलोन इज एंड दैट इज वॉट इज अवर एसेंशियल नेचर टू सॉल्व दिस रिडल और स्क्रिप्चर गिव ए वेरी सिंपल टेक्निक टेक ऑल एक्सपीरियंसेस ऑफ युअर लाइफ एज राम लीला और कृष्ण लीला what is the leela everything appears to be happening on the stage but in fact nothing is happening our is satsang leela as if the audience is listening it's very true if i have that wrong givings that because of my lecture the audience is going to change then i will be the fool of the highest order and we are talking to get out of this notion that i am doing something only one principle bhagavad gita tells second chapter sugha dukhe same krutva labha labho jaya jayo that means what whatever you are doing what are the possibilities three possibilities either you win or you are defeated same krutva it doesn't matter whether you are win or you are defeated then why are you doing it time pass Love, honey, the gain and loss. Then why are you doing it? Time pass. Joy, sorrows, they both are equal. Then why are you going through experiences? Time pass. When there is the principle of time pass, you know what happens? A doer 
or an experiencer is not born. Don't we play with our children? The child is concerned about winning over the dad. But the dad is playing only for a time pass. He is not worried whether he is winning or defeat. On the contrary, purposefully he gets defeated. But for the child, so happy. Today I have defeated my dad. Therefore, take life as a time pass. When we are not in this world, nothing was lacking. Leave this world, nothing will be lacking. So when our earlier presence, earlier absence or later absence makes no difference. The present presence makes what difference? Life becomes so simple. No achievement, no failure. Therefore, if we really mean spiritual walk, then these questions will not come. Oh Lord, when will you give me your darshan? There was one man, he went to some place, Mahatmaji was having bhajan kirtan, and people were enjoying. He went, Maharaji, Bhagavan ke darshan karao. Without that, I will not go. Maharaj said, okay, let's try bhajan, join. After some time, Mahatma said, stop. Every stop. Bhagavan has come. Yes, Bhagavan. Yes. What did you call me? Uh, Bhagavan, uh, this gentleman, he wants to have your darshan. So will you please give it to him? Bhagavan says, tell him, I will show him myself to him, but all his merit will be exhausted. Data will be over. You cannot communicate thereafter. And thereafter, whatever sins he has done in his life, they will start manifesting. And therefore, he will have the following diseases. Ask him, is it okay for him? So, see, Bhagwan told me this. Now tell me. Should I tell him yes? Uh, no, I will ask her. <laughs> Mehbuba is there also. That fool did understand. After having seen God, what is there more to be seen in this world? We are not qualified. And therefore all these funny questions come in our mind. Therefore, na prapancham na chitta na ahankara na jivaka, only Paramatma alone is. Maya karya dikam nasti, maya nasti bhayam nahi. You see, this world is maya ka karya. Like in Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad says, daivi hesha gudamai mama maya duratteya, maam evaye prapadyante maya medam tarantite. Now, what is the meaning of maya? Maya means anaya ya sa maya. That because of which something is measured. Only one example I'll give you. Be very attentive. Liquids are measured by liters. But liter is not an object. One liter. What one liter? Milk. One liter. What one liter? Water. Okay. Similarly, red color, then green color, yellow color. So, color is infinite. Shabda, Sparsha, Rupa, Rasaganda. Five objects. They are non specific. Shabda, sound. But the sound is now measured. Sarega. See? This is the Maya Karya. Sounds are not problem. But then, I am a Gujarati, I am a Bengali, I am a Tamilian, I am a Punjabi. All are sounds. 
therefore all this maya 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 is our own creation in god's creation there is no maya in our creation there is maya not only maya maya vati <laughs> see friends it is so simple to recognize is not difficult how god's maya is not a problem our maya is a problem god has created a woman she is ishakarya created by ishwara out of that one woman the father created a daughter husband created a wife and a son created a mother and who are miserable the father is miserable because that dumb girl doesn't want to get married and the uh, wife gets miserable because of the husband and here the mother gets miserable because of the son so the mother the wife and the daughter where are they and who are miserable these non existing imaginary characters they are miserable then what will be spiritual life we have to only remember this thing what role you are playing only remember that and accordingly give that dialogue you must have seen here also it happened number of times there was one uh, um, very nice mono actor a bengali gentleman suman something like that suman sen so shekhar sen or suman shekhar sen i think he is a extremely extraordinary mono player and he presented that kabir and that one man presents all the characters he is kabir he is his father he is his mother he is his wife he is a pandit ji he is a friend everything only one and when his performance is over everybody gives him a standing ovation because he performed perfectly well all the roles exactly the same way we all have to perform all the beautiful roles then you get a standing ovation in life but what happens we get rolled in one role and other things we totally forget so we have to simply remember this thing in front of whom you are in front of oh you are in front of your father and you are a son okay then talk to the father that dad how come you got married to mommy you are so intelligent and you have to still listen to her all this thing beta what to do this is my prarabdha dad i want to get a motorcycle okay beta <laughs> then gone to the mommy mommy couldn't you find anybody handsome then uh, he, he is not match you and me you are so beautiful couldn't find him i'm now it is too late beta agle year mein dekhenge mommy i want a laptop see this is how the children make fool of both them and get their things done why they are, because he is smart not only phone the child is also smart they have to play your role that is the only thing so be attentive role playing means what number 1 we live at different levels first level is vyavaharik whatever is my role that i have to play then second is the pratibhasik pratibhasik is the dreamer in the dream we have good and bad experiences there are so two places we are existing in the waking as a waker and in the dream as a dreamer now as a waker when i am living is called as a vyavaharik jeeva then i conduct myself according to requirement net result will be 
although i am a waker but i will not be disturbed by any relation or any role i have to play after this is done next step then i am born as a seeker of the truth so be very attentive the vyavaharik jeeva the waker is not influenced by whatever is experience good or bad in the dream is it not is awakened from the dream exactly the same way the seeker is not influenced by all the roles the waker has to play you decide first who are you see the moment waking happens the dreamer and dream world disappears exactly the same way the day a seeker is born from that day onwards world is never a problem never an issue because now he is a pra, he is a paramarthic jeeva he is seeking something higher and those who are seeking something higher they have to give up the lower see friends therefore maya karyam idam nasti nasti maya bhayam nahi so there is no maya no effect of maya and no fear of anything करता नास्ति क्रिया नास्ति श्रवणम मननम नहीं देर इज नो डूअर देर इज नो एक्शन देर इज नो लिसनिंग एंड देर इज नो रिफ्लेक्शन जस्ट रिलैक्स रिलैक्स सिंपलेस्ट वे इज कम हियर कंप्लीटली एम टी एंड जस्ट रिलैक्स डोंट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड stand under this knowledge and then go also empty relax on the spiritual practice is emptying yourself not filling with anything otherwise i know this i know that i know this i know that i know vedanta also there was one man running and chased by another man people what happened is a thief no you first catch him he was caught what happened he used to come to my house and teach me vedanta i could not run away from my house now i am wanting to him to learn my vedanta and therefore the moment i start talking to me he runs away now i want to take revenge friends vedanta is not for talking or telling to anybody so when you excuse us what are you doing <laughs> i am talking to myself it is a solo talk whatever i talk the first person to hear is me if my words do not change me can they change others tukara mara says bole taisa chale tyachi vanda vi bahule see friends our action and conduct and knowledge must perfectly synchronize therefore करता नास्ति क्रिया नास्ति श्रवण मनन नहीं समाधि द्वितयम नास्ति डोंट गेट लॉस्ट इन टू संप्रज्ञात समाधि एंड असंप्रज्ञात समाधि बिग बिग वर्ड रिलैक्स आई सीन दोज पीपल हू डू मेडिटेशन दे आर मोर मिजरेबल देर इज टू बी वन फ्रेंड ऑफ माइंड वी स्टडी टूगेदर वेदांत स्क्रिप्चर सेंस एंड he was a born yogi probably and i am born lazy not yogi so he used to do every morning so many things asanas and all kinds of funny funny air air exercises air acrobatics then what do you call that uh, bhastrika dog breathing 
then kapal bhati and anulo milo all kinds of things and uh, i used to always make fun of him he used to take you know that uh, uh, cloth and eat it for cleaning i said yaar jalebi khao ye kya and always making fun of him and he always used to become very angry i am not doing anything god's grace time pass 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 the other day i made him met him somewhere he is also old like me you know and he mahatma ji how are you yogi maharaj he said you name a disease i have that lungs are completely gone the liver is giving lot of pain and i have to go for dialysis anything i eat it is not digested why this is happening i said because you have destroyed the factory settings we are all born perfect but then free download you find out how many apps your device can handle you find out how much space you have got store keep on every damn useless thing that comes in whatsapp keep on accumulating one lady she says how you i want to take a selfie with you you cannot take no i will show you i said try and with all style and all message came no space <laughs> friend so many why this is happening i said because you don't remove the garbage real spiritual practice is this live in the utter today then you are born new you're on the time carrying the burden of our dead past therefore samadhi dutayam nasti and such people they sit for meditation sitting for meditation as what as a husband so when a husband sits for meditation what will be the ishta devata <laughs> belan devi if the daughter in law is sitting for meditation who will be ishta devata kali karalis saas today i am listening something very beautiful i like it <clears throat> everything maternal is closing everything non maternal is opening ma saas dekho mausi atya motherly things are always closing loving father letting the oh, open it therefore samadhi dutayam nasti don't become anybody and sit for meditation just insist to yourself now nobody is doing meditation so why you worry then matru manadi nasti hi therefore there is no uh, manam is measurement uh, how long we have to sit for meditation listen i am telling you again are you all ready i will ring the bell ten 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 begin meditation bye se tej chal then again i will ring the bell ten 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 meditation over see these are all सुपर कार्टून ऑफ मेडिटेशन मातृमादी नास्ती अज्ञान चापी नास्ते अविवेक कदा न अविवेक कदाचना फ्रेंड्स इग्नरेंस मींस नॉट एब्सेंस ऑफ नॉलेज नॉलेज कैन नेवर बी एब्सेंट इग्नरेंस इज इनकम्प्लीटनेस इन नॉलेज अज्ञान अपूर्ण ज्ञान Now what is the ignorance? What is the point of the anam? This body I am, that body I am not. On what ground I say this? Neither this body I created as much that body I have created. How can I say? 
नहीं गया ही सही है ई फ्रेंड्स देर फोर इज नथिंग लाइक इग्नोरेंस इज ओनली इनकम्प्लीटनेस इन नॉलेज गेट रिड ऑफ इट हाउ टू गेट रिड ऑफ इट आर वी लिविंग एज ए व्यक्ति इंडिविजुअलिटी और अभिव्यक्ति और द लाइफ देर फोर समाधि द्वितीय नास्ति मातृ मानादि नास्ति अज्ञानम चापी नास्ति व अविवेक न कदाचन एंड देर फोर देर इज नथिंग दैट वी डू नॉट हैव डिस्क्रिमिनेशन वी डू हैव बट वी डू नॉट रिकग्नाइज अवर ओन पोटेंशियलिटी अनुबंध चतुष्टक न संबंध त्रयमे न ही न गंगा न गया सेतु न भूतम नान अस्ति किंचन सो अनुबंध चतुष्टक अनुबंध चतुष्टक वेन यू स्टडी द स्क्रिप्चर्स फोर थिंग्स आर टू बी रेकग्नाइज इन एवरी स्टडी अधिकारी विषय एंड प्रयोजन एंड संबंध अधिकारी हु इज क्वालिफाइड फॉर दिस टेक्स विषय व्हाट इज द सब्जेक्ट मैटर प्रयोजन व्हाट इज द पर्पज इज बीइंग स्टडीड एंड लास्ट इज व्हाट इज योर रिलेशन टू स्टडी दैट फोर थिंग्स मस्ट बी क्लियर देन ओनली द राइट इंपोर्ट इज ब्रॉट आउट सिमिलरली संबंध त्रय द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ रिलेशनशिप कॉज इफेक्ट एंड इफेक्ट जागृत सप्त सुशुक्ति ऑल दीज थिंग्स हैव नो मीनिंग न गंगा न यमुना न नथिंग ओनली अवर ओन इमेजिनेशन drop everything and come back to yourself vijanan vidwan bhavate nadivadi kundoko parichay tells the one who is abiding in the truth he never becomes obsessed with anything ativadi is obsessed and their obsession is what whatever i tell is right what others are telling is wrong and this also we develop right from childhood therefore na bhumi na jalam na agni na vayur na kachit na deva na chadik pala na veda na guru kachit na duram na antikam na alam na madhyam na kachit sitam na dvaitam dvaita satyam va asatyam va idam na cha bandha mokshadikam nasti sadva asadva sukhadiva jatir nasti gatir nasti vardo nasti kalaukikam sarvam brahmeti nasti eva brahmeti pi na nasti chidevati eva nasti eva chid aham bhashanam nahi so all these various aspects of the various topics which are studied in the scriptures the teacher tells you drop all of them and this can be clearly understood when we are in deep sleep we are still there what does it exist when a person is in coma he is alive but nothing disturbs exactly the same way the wise man is या निशा सर्वूता तस्याम जागृति संयमी यस्याम जागृति भूता सा निशा पश्चत मुने वेयर द इग्नरेंट पीपल आर अवेकंड टू द रिलेटिव वर्ल्ड द वाइज मैन इज स्लीपिंग एंड टू द एब्सोल्यूट रियालिटी टू विच द वाइज मैन इज अवेकंड टू दैट द इग्नरेंट पीपल आर स्लीपिंग एंड दैट इज वाय wisdom is equivalent to wit and humor kya ho gaya tumko yaar kya mato yaar since i am realized i become like this so the depression see many of us have got this funny notion spirituality means gambhir anand what happened what to tell you since i came to know brahman i can't get out of the room somebody has to take me i go and dash against the wall everything is brahman darwaja kahan gaya see friends that is not a meaning therefore all these things all the great uh, five element and the various gods and guru and the veda the distant and near a center 
and Dvaita, Advaita, all these things are only words, words, words. And therefore, what is the Viveka he was asking? Atma, Anatma, Viveka. Viveka here means discrimination means there is but reality. Other than reality, there is nothing. Like the same man, he alone is everything and yet he is much more than that. The same man is the son, the husband and the father and he is all the three and yet beyond the three. Exactly the same way, the same truth. With the conditioning of the names and the forms is the world, with the conditioning of the Maya is the Ishvara and with the conditioning of the Panchakoshas is the Jiva. Because of this conditioning, there is an appearance of otherness or separateness. Like our sense organs are separate from each other. But what are they? The same mind. One conditioning of the mind is eyes, then the mind is called as vision. The second conditioning of the mind is the ears, then the mind is called as the faculty of hearing. The third conditioning of the mind is the tongue, then the mind is called as the organ of speech. Therefore, mind has not become many. The real spiritual practice is start from the many and go to the source. Objects are many, catch one object, sound. Sounds are many, catch one hearing, one. Then in hearing also you can hear properly, otherwise etc. Give that, come to the intellect. And intellect, there is understanding, misunderstanding, give that, come to the chetana. Then give up the chetana, come to the energy behind the chetana, because of which the life is life. Give up that and merge in the total energy, the Lord will take care of. the time, the effort for this journey is zero. Because it is not a journey in time. It is not a journey in space. This journey never begins, never ends. It is like water jumping on the water. An appearance of a wave. Next time you go to ocean, observe, I have played with this a lot. Such a great fun. We are seeing the ocean, we call waves. We jump into the uh, water, we call, say, we jump into the ocean. You are that poor water. He will say, I don't know what is the ocean and the wave. You are talking all rubbish. From the absolute standpoint, relative has no existence. Therefore, all these things, Sarvam Brahmeti Nasteva, Brahmateva Nastihi, Chid Evaiti Eva Nastiva, Chid Am Vasharam Nahi. Give up all this and what you cannot give up, that alone is the truth. Kenopanishad Bhashya Bhagavan Shankaracharya says, Ahiyam Anupadeyam. Ahiyam, that which cannot be given up. Anupadeyam, because it cannot be given up, it need not be received also. Then where do you reach? There you are. That you are. Only proper understanding is the only way. There is no other way. Nanja Pantha Vidyate Yanaya. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnaha Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate 
ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः